What is up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Axawa here. They just buffed the XM4 in Season 5, so I want to show you the new most overpowered 5 attachment and the detachment class that I have made for the XM4 here in Season 5. If you don't know, they increased the reload quickness, the infantry compensator was buffed, and most magazines were also buffed. And lastly, about 3 quarters through Season 4, they changed the iron sights in the XM4, so now we get to make even less sacrifices than my previous best XM4 class. Now let's get into it, starting off with the 5 attachment class. To start out, as usual, we begin with Perk Greed to have 6 perks, Flak Jacket, Tactical Mask, Assassin, Scavenger, Ninja, and Ghost. Then we're using Stimshot, Sentex, and a Field Mic, and for the secondary you could use whatever you want, I prefer the dual wield magnums. Now let's look at the XM4. Because they moved the iron sights away from the camera for the XM4, we're not going to be using an optic anymore, and we'll stick with the iron sights. In the muzzle, we are going to be using the Agency Suppressor to control the little bit of vertical recoil that we do have on the XM4 at the cost of minus 22% effective damage range and 15% bullet velocity. I know it says 30, but on the patch notes, they said that the bullet velocity penalty for the agency suppressor for all assault rifles is going to go from negative 30 to negative 15%, so agency suppressor. For the barrel, we do want to speed up the bullet velocity, so we're actually going to be using the 13.7 inch Ranger barrel. This will cost us a little bit of aim walking movement speed, but that's okay. Just like before, we won't be using anything on the body or the under barrel because the XM4 has minimal recoil. Now things get interesting here on the magazine attachment because they just buffed the 35 round speed mag. It used to be the 40 round speed mag but it used to reduce your aim down sight time. They got rid of the aim down sight time reduction and they made it 35 rounds which is just enough. So because this increases our reload speed so much with no downsides it's totally worth it. Put it on. Then on the handle slot as usual for most assault rifles we'll be using the airborne elastic wrap. We want it because it'll help our aim down sight time and it'll help our flinch resistance. It'll cost us a little bit of shooting movement speed and sprint to fire time, but that's okay, we'll be fixing that. And then for the stock, we'll be using the Raider Pad. It'll help our sprint to fire time that we hurt a little bit before, and it'll increase our aim walking movement speed at the cost of a little bit of hit fire accuracy, which is okay because this is an XM4, you shouldn't really be hit firing. In summary, for season 5, the new best attachments are the agency suppressor for the muzzle, the 13.7 inch Ranger barrel, the 35 round speed mag for the magazine, the airborne elastic wrap for the handle, and the Raider pad for the stock. Enjoy! Moving on to the 8 attachment class, we start out with a Gunfighter Wild card with Flak Jacket, Scavenger, and Ninja, Stimshot, Semtex, Field Mic, and for the secondary again, the Dual Wield Magnums. So let's look at the 8 attachments for the XM4. For the 8 attachment class, as usual, we don't have to make any sacrifices. So we will be using an optic. The Microflex LED is my preferred optic. On the muzzle slot, we'll be using the Agency Suppressor to increase our vertical recoil control and to keep us off the minimap at the cost of a little bit of bullet velocity which again is supposed to be negative 15 not negative 30 because of the new patch notes in season 5 so put on the agency suppressor for the muzzle then on the barrel slot we want to increase our bullet velocity so put on the 13.7 inch ranger barrel on the body slot the tiger team spotlight is definitely the best one here that way you could see enemies at any situation for the under barrel we either want to use the foregrip or the field agent grip if you can control a little bit of recoil then you want to use the foregrip that way you only have to control the vertical recoil and not have to worry as much about the horizontal recoil. If you want the XM4 to have almost zero recoil, then you use the field agent grip, and that way you don't have to control much. I will be putting on the foregrip. Then for the magazine, we'll be using the 35 round speed mag because they got rid of the increase in aim down sight time. On the handle, of course, we'll be using the airborne elastic wrap as usual for that help with aim down sight time and the flinch resistance at the cost of a little bit of sprint to fire time. Lastly, for the stock, we'll be using the Raider pad once again. That way we can fix our sprint to fire time, our aim walking movement speed at the cost of hit fire accuracy. So Raider pad for the stock. In summary, for the 8 attachment class, we're actually going to be using the Microflex LED for the optic, the agency suppressor for the muzzle, the 13.7 inch ranger barrel, the tiger team spotlight, foregrip for the underbarrel, the 35 round speed mag, the airborne elastic wrap, and the raider pad for the stock. Have fun. If you came here just for the class setup, then I would love it if you smash the like button before you leave so that it can spread to more people. Now let's see this XM4 in action. We are playing hardpoint tonight with the XM4 5 attachments. Let's see what we can do. There's a thunderstorm going on outside, so I really hope my power doesn't go out. And if you hear any extra noises, well, you know, that, that's why. <laughs> Might be a little bit of thunder. There's a guy here. Let's see if I can get him behind. Oh, hello. Okay, that was... I don't know what that was. But I know it wasn't good, I'll tell you that. Should still be a guy to the left here, isn't it? Yeah, he didn't die. Hello. 
my aim. One of them hit, please. Oh my god, it did. Okay. Let's see if we can get a good little streak going here. I want to show you guys what the XM4 can do when I don't get killed from behind by a guy dressed like he's from the 1940s. Actually, no, 1960s maybe? Yeah, I think that's when they were doing the trench coat thing, right? I don't know. I wasn't alive. Okay, got him. Oh wait, everybody has trench coats this game, huh? Everybody thought it would be a good day to dress up like a mobster. Got him. Got a flamethrower. Probably gonna use it actually, yeah. And I sh probably shouldn't have used it. Not at that moment at least. Okay, let's go upstairs. It's always gonna be somebody. Uh, no, okay, apparently not. Not today. Be a guy here somewhere. Throw a grenade. Go for that hard point. No, to my left. I should have looked. Oh, we switched spawns. Good job, teammates. Got him. Stop this triple kill. That's right. Stop this clip. I thought I could get a clip tonight, but no, not tonight. Not during a thunderstorm. Let's see what we can do here on the left hand side. I'm dead or not. Perfect. I'm gonna go upstairs. Heal up a little bit. Uh, somebody down here? I know there's somebody here somewhere. Okay, I can't see. I can't see. I can't see. I literally can't see. I'm gonna go away. One, one or two to the right here. Let me see if I can not get jumped by him. You know how everybody... Oh no! Wasn't that the one that I just killed like five seconds ago too? Oh well. Okay, he's dead. It's good. I don't have to deal with him. Oh! He jumped into my bullet. He was one hit away and jumped into it. What a loser. Got him. Got him too. The reload speed because of the 35 round magazine is so good now since it doesn't hurt your aim down sight time. I feel like I can kill quicker. I mean, the, the XM4 right now is just a beast. Really feel like this is a one of the strongest weapons in the meta now because of those light changes. Oh, my game actually just lagged so hard right now. I don't know what that was about. Let me bust out the hand cannon here. Hey. Um, well, I'm not going to edit anything, but if, if I was to edit something, it would be that. Oh, uh, I'm dead. Alright, so I'm going to go on the right hand side. Try not to uh, think about what just happened there too much. Reload. Heal up. He's coming on the right. Come on, villain. That's right. Can't kill me on a fair 1v1 fight when I don't have a Annihilator. <laughs> I think it's OP as hell. How, the, how did I miss that? I can't believe I missed that. Oh, I'm gonna die. Hello. Well, I didn't get him. He did get a triple too. Not happy about that. Okay, so is villain gonna come? Well, he is, but he's gonna die, so it's cool. Oh, not doing that. Not doing that tonight. Where are you at? Where are you at? Gotcha. Got Wait, did I not kill him? No, I didn't. Nice. Damn, that sucks. The flamethrower is good, it's just that everyone uses flag jacket already anyway, so it's kinda like a grenade, I mean. You don't really get too many kills with grenades, right? Because everybody's running flak jacket. So, same thing with the flamethrower. Hey, that guy wasn't wearing flak jacket. That's good. Put this down. Never know when they'll run by it. Ooh, that's a maple. Is that ours? Yeah, it is. We're okay. I'm dead. At least I'm pretty happy that sexy man 3776 killed him. At least I can know that he is, uh, that he was sexy as he killed me. Got an inter 
interesting username. Who made that a 70 year old man? I don't know. Anyways. Until I don't do sitcom. Sitcom? I can't even stand up, I mean, Jesus. I I can't I can't speak either. I really can't, honestly. Anything here? No. One to the right. Got him. In the face. Got in the garage. Can't hit him. I'm gonna ignore him. Hello, sexy man. And villain. Did I stick him? No, I didn't. But I am gonna rush him. And he dead, so it's cool. He's gonna come through this door. And the guy on the second floor. Very close to killing me. That's okay. So got us rushing here. Didn't see me. I feel like I'm actually good now. Am I even getting shot by right now? I don't know. But I do not appreciate it. And thankfully, this guy did not know that I was behind him. Let me get that scavenger pack, reload real quick. With my quick reload speed that I have now, I cannot aim. I almost died. Oh no, wait, that was a teammate. What do we got? What do we got? Sergeant Bunny. Oh no, Reagent Blinky. What a... Wow, I, I'm also... Yeah, never mind, I can't read either. Uh, I'm gonna go inside. Is there a scavenger pack that I can get around here? No? No, no scavenger pack, okay. Scavengers, like... The best perk ever, once you can actually get a pack. Okay, so I'm gonna use a flamethrower. I got him. That takes so long to actually kill when they have flak jacket. It's really hard. Is he gonna come? Is he gonna come? Yeah, it really takes a while. Let me pick up that scavenger pack. Good there. I'm getting into the habit of holding down the fire button for the for the flamethrower because of the black jacket. Ooh, I got him. I'm very happy about that. Nice, teammate got him. Hello, villain. How are you? I died. Doing very well here. No crazy streaks, no nukes, no nothing. But, nevertheless, still doing well. Very happy about this class here. This 5 attachment class that I created. It fits with my playstyle perfectly well. It's nice and fast paced. It doesn't show you on the minimap, which is a huge, it's always a huge plus for me. It has basically no recoil. The visual recoil is also minimal. Like, I mean, I don't, I don't know what else you could possibly ask for. And on an XM5. Five attachments allows you to use six perks. Which I think is just the best way of playing the game. I don't think three perks is enough when you want to go for high kills. Oh, okay. All right. But I'm still giving eight attachments because I know there's people out there uh, that really like it. It's just fun. And honestly, seeing the gun, your weapon, with eight attachments, seeing it in the in the screens, and just using it, inspecting it, it, it looks really nice. I mean, those eight attachments, they, they always look really good. Especially when you put on one of those flashlights. Oof. Okay, there's a artillery coming in, so let me back up here. Where's the next hard point? Right here. Okay, good. Let's go to that. I think we'll be okay. Second floor. Got him. I'm gonna stop him from getting on the point. Bloodthirsty. At least we got a five kill streak going. Not, oh, second floor again. I don't know if that was the same guy or not. I assume there's more than one person trying to uh, use any code name. 
The lobbies usually have a few people with code name enabled. All right, Billing got me. He got me good. We only need two more points, and we win. Nope, not this time, Billin. If I do this, got a teammate, enemy, enemy, right here. Oh, okay. That's me. If you made it this far into the video, then let me know what other guns you want me to look at in the comments down below. And if you enjoyed this class setup for the XM4, then check out my playlist of my other best classes. I'll see y'all in the next one. I will out.